a David versus Goliath battle. The Marshall Islands looking to force three world powers to dismantle their nuclear weapons. Over the next week and a half, it'll try to convince the International Court of Justice to hear the case against Britain, India and Pakistan, accusing them of failing to meet the terms of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, which aims to stop the nuclear arms race. Everybody in this great hall of justice, Mr. President, everybody, without any exception, knows that once the threshold to the use of nuclear weapons is crossed, the law will be a joke and justice will be just a relic of the past. The B-52 with the hydrogen bomb tucked in its belly is airborne and approaching the target area. The island nation was the site of dozens of nuclear tests carried out by the US in the 1940s and 50s. Campaigners say a hydrogen bomb wiped out three islands and was a thousand times the magnitude of nuclear weapons dropped on Hiroshima during the Second World War. In addressing the court, the country's representative painted a picture of devastating effects. Several islands in my country were vaporized and others are estimated to be, remain uninhabitable for thousands of years. Many, many Marshallese died suffered birth defects never before seen, and battled cancers resulting from the contamination. Tragically, the Marshall Islands thus bears eyewitness to the horrific and indiscriminate lethal capacity of these weapons. The Pacific nation has long argued that it had been poorly compensated for the damages, perhaps adding fuel to this new and ambitious fight. Nobody expects the three powers will disarm, but if anything, this unprecedented legal case could put pressure on nuclear heavyweights to reduce their stockpiles. Elaine Young, BBC News.